The famous England and Manchester United footballer, Sir Bobby Charlton, has unveiled a memorial to the victims of the Munich air disaster of 1958. Some of Manchester United's best players died in the crash. The monument is in a suburb of Munich where the plane came down as the team flew home from a match. Sir Bobby, who survived the crash, said every Manchester United player had a little bit of Munich in his heart. Every day for nearly 50 years, Sir Bobby Charlton has been haunted by memories of what happened in this quiet suburb of Munich. Today, a chance to remember the Manchester United players who died and thank local people like Matthias Emmerich who did battle to save them. Well, thank you. On the fringe of a Munich airport lies the wreckage of an airliner. Still smoldering. The shocking images stunned the world. 23 people were eventually to die, mostly players and journalists. The survivors still carry an almost unbearable sadness. It changed, it changed the club, it changed a lot of people's lives. We, had, um, we, had, we have to remember it because uh, it, was, it was a great adventure that the players were going on when the accident happened and, and they, it was torn away from them. The memorial is the first permanent one on the crash site. The airport is long gone and there's little else to suggest the tragedy that unfolded. Back on that winter's day in 1958, the plane had only stopped here at the old airfield to refuel. Twice, with the players on board becoming increasingly nervous, they tried to take off. And by the time they came down this runway for the third time, heavy snow was falling. The plane barely lifted off the ground, crashing into buildings at the end of the runway. They've been a great team, having just won two league titles on their way to a third. The eight players who never returned were some of the most gifted in the game. For the widow of the captain, Roger Byrne, today was the first time she could face coming to the crash site. I think about it when I see my son, who was born eight months after the crash happened. And we do think about it. They were a young team robbed in their prime. But the names of the Busby babes are a reminder of what might have been. Sally Nugent, BBC News, Munich.